Welcome back to Shooting Star News. I'm your host, Nick Sconia. And today we're diving into the brand new images just released of 3i Atlas, our latest confirmed interstellar visitor, captured by none other than the James Webb Space Telescope. These images just came out, and they're giving us the clearest look yet at what this mysterious object really is, and it's helping us to find what it isn't. So let's pull these up together. Here's the first image from Webb. What you're seeing is basically the glow of dust surrounding the comet. Astronomers call this a coma. Think of it like the fuzzy atmosphere that forms around a comet when it gets warmed up by the sun. Nothing artificial here, just sunlight bouncing off tiny grains of dust. Now check out this second map. This is the big one, literally a plume of carbon dioxide gas jetting out from 3i Atlas. Webb's spectrograph picked up a sharp line of light at 4.26 microns, which is the fingerprint of carbon dioxide. And here's the kicker. There's eight times more CO2 than water vapor coming off this comet. That's the highest ratio astronomers have ever seen. It tells us 3i Atlas likely formed in a really cold part of its home system where carbon dioxide freezes into ice more easily than water. Here's the third image. This patch shows water vapor, but much weaker than the CO2. That means the surface of the comet may be coated with dust or darker material that keeps most of the water ice trapped inside. So what we're seeing is mostly carbon dioxide escaping, not water. Webb also caught tiny traces of other molecules, carbon monoxide and even carbonyl sulfide. Don't let the name scare you. These are just natural chemicals found in comets. And together they paint a picture of a very normal, if unusual, interstellar object. So far, everything we've seen lines up with 3i Atlas being a natural comet, not something built or artificial. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, what about the alien angle? Astrophysicist Avi Loeb has speculated in the past and presently with articles that interstellar objects like this could be alien technology. And with 3i Atlas being big, somewhere between 3 and maybe up to 40 kilometers across, and with that strange CO2 heavy composition, you can see why it grabs the headlines. But here's the deal. Every signature Webb has detected matches natural comet behavior. Dust, gas plumes, ice, sunlight, sunlight reflection, reflection, no radio signals, no ob maneuvers as of yet, no steady thrust like you'd expect from an engine, nothing that screams anything artificial. That doesn't mean we should stop asking the question. Science is about curiosity. But the evidence we have so far points squarely to a comet. So why do we care? Every interstellar visitor gives us a sample of another star system. No spaceship required. By studying this chemistry of 3i Atlas, we get clues about how planets and comets form across the galaxy. And that CO2 rich composition? It might tell us there are icy worlds out there very different from our own solar system. So, 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar object we've caught after Oumuamua and Borisov. And thanks to Webb, we're re already learning more than we ever thought possible. So whether you're team natural comet or still holding out for the alien probe, this story is just beginning. This is going to unfold, and as you can tell, there's going to be more news uh, every week on this uh, visitor from afar. And you can bet we'll keep tracking it here on Shooting Star News. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Would you bet on natural or artificial? Until next time, my friends, keep your eyes on the skies and be well.